Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp on ES6, comparing scopes of the var and let keywords. So var and let both are used to declare keywords, but usually just for the sake of practical reasons, you don't really have to worry about var too much. It's kind of outdated, but this exercise helps you understand why it had to be updated. So the let keyword lets you declare the variables, the variables, and it has certain scope within the block. And those block is within those uh, curly brackets. And we can look at example of how var is declared globally or locally declared, and it's locally if it's inside a function. So for this example, we are creating a, an array. We're looping through var for i from 0 to um, less than 3, 0, 1, 2. And then we're pushing each number into this array. And then when we console log this number array, we're going to get 0, 1, 2. And then when we console log i, we'll get 3 because i will get plus plus at the end of this. So the i is global. And you're going to see that it's 3. Now let's look at another example. Here we'll declare an i outside of it. And now we'll assigning i to 0. And then i is less than 3, we're incrementing it i. And then we'll console log in number a. So it's going to push it. So we're going to get 0, 1, 2. And then i is also going to be plus to 3. And then we'll get 3 for that. And this is the problem will occur if we have to use i again outside of this. And it's going to cause problems because i is global. And here's another example where we're looking, we're looping through i from 0 to 3. But once it hits 2, we should return i. And then i should be 2. But when we console log this, print number 2, I, we're going to return i. But i is going to keep going until it's 3 for this loop. So we return the value three. But yeah, just like I said before, we wouldn't have to worry too much about var now. So we can look at what let does. So what let does is that i equals zero, i is less than three. So if i is equal to two, we return i. So when we did do this, we'll get the we'll get two and an error that i is not defined when we go when we console log i because it's not a global scope. And then number two is this print will return two as we want it like that. So for this exercise, it wants us to fix the code so that i declared in the if statement a separate variable that i declared in the first line of the function and not to use the var keyword. So here we want to declare i and we can say let here inside of this block scope. And then we want to do a let. So this i will be, this i will be the function scope. And then we do let i here to be a block scope inside of this block. And that'll be it for this one. Thank you so much.